Hello, welcome back to the videos here at the Anime Screen Repair. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a process that I'm going to be doing to this acoustic guitar. Um, got it from a guy that um, he needs new strings and stuff. Um, what I'm supposed to do to this guitar is take the strings off, keep the old strings, um, oil the fretboard with lemon oil, um, polish the guitar, tighten a, tighten a screw, and put new strings on the guitar. And the strings that he wanted me to use is Daddario's Extra Light Gauge Acoustic Strings. So, um, 20, uh, 80, 20 bronze is what we're using. So we're gonna go ahead and start this process. So first what I do is, um, you gotta get all your stuff in order. This is the lemon oil. I'm using Daddario lemon oil for the fretboard. And um, I'm just gonna set all this down for now. Um, but what I would like to do first is to get the guitar out of the case and just kind of look it down to see, make sure that everything is gonna go as planned. And then um, go ahead and take him. This is, he had some, he has some string cleaner for me to use. So, I mean, not string cleaner, um, polisher, the polish, the finish. He already had that in the case, so. And um, just some other stuff in here so so a lot of times when you open up this guitar stuff it will be kind of sometimes it'll kind of you know have a lot of stuff you have to take out and um get everything loose you have a good space to clean on okay so right here is the guitar and it is Palmer something. Now this right here, I have a cape. The, he has a capo on the guitar. He, I guess he left it right here. And that's actually a good thing because um, if I were to take that capo off, for instance, the guitar is gonna, it's gonna pick up on the body. And usually at times, or usually there's a little thing you put that sits under the neck and that will kind of hold it, but the capo works just as good. It kind of evens it out so the neck ain't picking up the body, so that's a really big plus. Um, so first, what I'm gonna do to this guitar is I'm probably going to end up taking the strings off first. So I do not have a string winder in this video, so I'm gonna be doing everything by hand. So what I'm gonna do is, the thing is, what I'm gonna do, is, since he's wanting me to keep these old strings, because he's a beginner, and um, the wrong gauge was put on the strings. So the strings that are on this guitar right now are medium gauge, Daddario medium gauge um, strings, phosphor bronze, and we're gonna be putting extra light on there so it's kinda easier for, for you to press your fingers down when you're just beginning. So since he's wanting to keep the strings, what I'm gonna do is right now I'm just going to take the strings off of the, of the headstock but since I'm going to have to package these strings individually, I'm going to leave them on the pins for now until I go upstairs and get some bags, baggies to put them in each string individually. So what I'm going to do, and like I said, it's easier for you to use a crank. Um, it's really out of tune. So I'm just going to loosen the string. I can really hear the, the stuff in there, the, the way it's dry. You polish everything and clean. So it's just good to um, get everything loose off the fretboard. Now be careful of doing this because you can really poke yourself. I've poked myself before and cut my finger open once, not too long ago actually. Um, so it's good. Then I'll take my hand up here and kind of tighten. It is kind of stressful to do it without a string winder, but um, kind of bring the camera over here. You can just look right on that pin, and you'll see why it does this in a minute. Because when I put the new strings on, you'll see how it's how they're wound. Um, it's a good camera angle, by the way. Thank you. Um, and we're just gonna pull it loose, and so we're gonna want this to be straight, so it'll pull out. So you can see that that's kind of coming towards that angle, or there we want it to go this way. And once it goes that way, so now it is almost there. So now it is perfectly straight, and now it just pops right out. Just like that, simple as that. And um, you can notice right here that 
the very top of the string is a lot more shiny than this part of the string simply because um, they're being like you can you put your fingers on here for instance your hands will sweat and it'll discolor the strings which is very common which which happens all the time very likely so so again just loosening the string coming towards the body with the left side of the, the headstock the, uh, twisting towards the body of the guitar and then again taking my hand and running it up onto the bridge the top bridge and then and a lot of people will tug they'll, they'll kind of pull don't do that because that's that's an easy way to cut your hand is because when that pulls out the loop will come and it'll poke you it'll jab you and then again i'm gonna line that up i'm gonna line that hole up to the top So there's the string right there. And we're, we want to get it up here. So we're just going to keep twisting it this way. And here we go. Perfect. And there's that string. So like I said, we're just going to keep the strings at the bottom. We're not taking them off because I need to get bags and label them. And the good thing about Daddario strings is the bottoms of the strings are color coded, so it, you can kind of tell what strings are which. And it's easier to do with some string liner, like I said, but I don't have one. Just, again, just doing the same process is really repetitive, really. It just take your hand on the string. Line that hole up. This one's wound a couple more times. So we're going to have to twist it twice as long. And um, I'm going to do one string on the other set because it's kind of the backwards. So you're going to be twisting the opposite way on the other side. So again, just doing the same thing as you did with the other two. Just twist it until you get that loop up there at the top pointing toward away from the body. And again, you're not going to pull. You're not going to pull tension because it can rip out really hard and jab your hand. And again, you can see kind of right here is the hole. Right there is the end of the string. Just twist it. You can see it's turning that way very slowly, turning clockwise. Bullseye. There it is. And um, so I'm going to do one more string now. So if you go that way on that same side, you're, you're tuning up. You're tightening the string on that end. So we're just gonna do, we're doing every we're doing the same thing, but it's backwards. The strings are post are put in backwards. So we're just gonna twist the opposite way. All right, let's take our hand again. Not put strength. We're just gonna lay our hand here. We're just laying our hand here. So it will pop out. And we're not going to pull because if we pull, it can hurt. It can jab us. So I'm just laying my hand here. You can see that I'm just, my hand's just sitting on the bridge here. So it just pulls it up enough just to pull it out of the hole and not to, to pull in to fly, make it fly. So, um, like I said, it's the opposite. So the string will probably end up coming out this way like that. Again, not pulling tension. Now look where our string's at. It's gotta come over just a little bit more. There we go. All right, now I will be right back. I'm gonna go get some baggies to package these strings. All right, so we got the strings all packaged up. Just put it in a Ziploc bag and everything, just etc. So, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to tighten some screws. So, I'm going to get this Phillips head screwdriver. And this is, bring the camera down here, um, the strap screw right here to mount your strap to. It's a little loose, and we don't want that getting too loose. So, it'll fall out, like, if you're, like, practicing. 
So I'm just gonna gently take this in here and tighten it. Just give it a little bit of a tighten here. Like that. And there we go, nice and tight. Let's see if the back one needs it. And the back one is perfectly fine. So that's all I have to do with that one, you know, very simple and easy. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put lemon oil on the fretboard. And um, like I said, I'm using Daddario's lemon oil right here, you can see. Um, just for, just really good lemon oil. I've never tried Daddario lemon oil. So um, it says to put it on a lint-free cloth and kind of rub it onto the frets and don't leave any excess oil. That is very important. So um, what we're gonna do, I have two cloths here, one for the oil and one for the, for the polish. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this up here. I'm just going to open the bottle. I'm going to dab a little bit on the cloth here and, and kind of be very gentle with it. Kind of get it just right. So. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just give me a little bit of oil on this cloth right here. Just like that. We'll start at the very top. And coming down from the bottom. I put it on the wrong place. Crap. That happens every now and then. Probably because I'm using this old nasty rag. So we're just going to Put it on the frets, kind of rub it really gently. Just like that. And in fact, I know it probably says not to do this, but this cloth is complete crap. I'm gonna pour a little bit on it on the second one. Okay. Drop. Kind of clean the fretboard just like this. So I'm just going to repeat this process over and over. So I'll see you when I get done doing that. All right, so now we're going to polish the guitar. What I'm using is some Fender um, American Professional Guitar Polish. And I'm pretty sure Daddario makes it as well. So um, we're just going to spray some on a little cloth and just kind of rub the guitar just like this. So we're, gonna, we're just going to do this. Oh, we're going to do this along the grain of the wood, though. You don't want to go across or else it's not going to look good. Um, we're just going to rub it just like this. And um, that's basically really simple after that. So, All right, so now we're going to um, restrain the guitar. I got it all polished and the fretboard's oiled. So the Daddario strings, uh, this is for all string packets. Um, we're going to open it. We don't tear it up here on the front. We're going to turn the string over to the back, and there'll be a little tab here, a little thingy. We're just going to pull it. I already, already did it. So we're just going to go ahead, and that just folds down, and then it just, you know, says everything about it, yada, yada, et cetera. And then and we're just going to pull the strings out. Now, we're done with the cardboard packaging. Now, the most important thing about restringing this guitar is right here. Um, we're going to have all of our letters here for all of our strings and stuff. So, um, so what you do is you open the strings and you use the packaging to tell you what string goes where. And, well, it tells you what color the, the ball end is. And you put that color on the right, you, know, you get what I'm saying. So, so we're going to go ahead and open up our strings. All right, just like that. And now again, always make sure your hands are clean before touching guitar strings, especially when they're brand new. So we're going to carefully take out the strings and we're going to look for our E string. So our E string is going to be right here and it is a gold, like a yellow color. I'm pretty sure that says yellow. I can't really read it too well. But so we're going for the E string which these are the other, these are the higher strings. So our E string is going to be right here. So this right here is 
probably going to be our E string. So, again, be careful when you're doing this because this can fly. Like I mentioned earlier, this all can fly everywhere. It's really insane how this unravels. <laughs> so, right here's our E string, and we're going to go ahead and put this string on. Again, look at the packaging to just make sure E is yellow. So, we're going to go ahead. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the ball end of the string. All right, so right here is the E string. Like I said earlier, this is our first string. This is our sixth string. Um, so, what we're going to do is we are going to take the string and this ball end right here on the very end. We're going to get a peg. And you kind of want this slot of the peg to line up with this. So you want the string to go in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the ball end is like that. The hole facing up, we're going to slip it in there. And then this right here, this pin, is going to go in the string. The string's going to, it's going to cut the string just like that. You're going to push down just a little bit, just like that. And then there's your first string on there. And then we're going to come up top here. And this is where it gets crazy. We are going to get the hole. And we're going to line it up with the fretboard. So right there's my hole. I'm going to slide it through the hole. I'm going to push the string through. And I'm going to pull it like that. Now, we're going to give it a tad bit of slack, not too much. Um, I think about, like, that's probably good right there. And right there, there we go. That's enough slack right there. That's enough slack. Right there is a good enough amount of slack. So, now what we're going to do is we are going to just take the string, and I like to take the string, and we're going to go, we're going to make a curl. So, this... So we're going to go with the left side of the headstock. We're going to go under this string right here. Kind of hold it in place. That's the tricky part. And then try not to get it tied around all of them. And then we are going to make a big loop. And then we're going to give it a nice tug. And now we're going to do, now we're just going to pull us, we're going to pull up. Simply just pull up. And now, we are going to tighten the string. Just put it in the bridge right there. Tighten the string up. Please stop touching it. Thank you. So now, it's going to make that weird noise again. It's going to make sure the pin's in there good. All right, so now that string's on. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to leave this here for now because we need to make, in case it needs to tighten some more, it's gonna twist a little bit more maybe. So we're gonna leave this here for now and it's gonna get in your way a little bit, but you're just gonna do the, the, the rest two strings are gonna repeat the same process. And, um, and I'll let you know when we get on to this section right here. So let's do it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and and do the other side. So basically, you're just doing the opposite of what you did on the left side of the headstock. So now we're moving on to the right. So instead of taking it and going this way, we're going to go this way. So, of course, going to give it a tad bit of slack. Good right there. And I'm going to hold it right here. And I'm going to go 
under this way and pull. And that sometimes happens too. It's hard to get that one. Sorry about my little sister. She is talking. Can you mind getting that for me? Thank you. It's on my capo. Okay. I'm just gonna get, pull a tug up. And now, we're gonna turn this way. will happen too. So, go ahead and tighten the string up right here. Sorry about my little sister. She will not stop talking tonight. I know what her deal is. So there you go, and that's how you do that right there. So, um, go a little sharper. It's always good to go a little sharp with all of the strings because over time the strings will stretch and you're gonna have to tune it with the whole time. So I would just tune a little bit sharp first, like you can hear, that's horrible sounding. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and finish stringing the rest of the guitar because now you get you now you know how to do it. And I will see y'all when we're done stringing. So see. You. All right, guys, so now we've got the strings on the guitar. Um, we're going to go ahead and see how these strings sound. I've never played light gauge strings before. Sorry, I apologize about that. I meant to say I'm extra light gauge strings. Play. I already asked him about it, and um, we're going to go ahead and test these light gauge strings out just to see how light they actually are. So let's go ahead and give a little first impression on the strings. So I'm going to start off with a simple C chord. Might not be perfectly in tune because I just put the strings on and tuned it up. So let's go ahead and try these strings out. Oh, wow. That's some great sound. Now let's try some country stuff. I really like how light the strings are. Like, they're really... The action on this guitar is pretty good. Well, the action's okay on this guitar. Um, but the best thing... These, these strings just take it on another level. This, this, these strings are amazing. I mean, these are some nice strings right here. They're nice to move around. Great for beginners. That's a great sound. I can't. I had an Epiphone, and I'm gonna be honest. It plays better than my Epiphone. I'm gonna be honest. It was my an old guitar that I had. Um, it was an amazing, amazing guitar, and um, it was. The, I loved playing it. Was a. It was a really good guitar, and the quality of this guitar. I mean, I mean, it's a pretty good guitar overall. I mean, it's a guitar. I mean, guitars. Guitar. You know, guitars are guitars. I mean, there is quality still. Um, I would say that this guitar is a little bit above middle range quality, closer to the high quality, but these strings take it to a whole nother level. This, these strings make this guitar amazing sounding and feeling. The action is perfect on this thing with these strings. And I'm not very good at switching chords on a guitar and I'm switching better than I've ever felt in my life. Like I've never switched that easily. 
So um, I like the strings. I like the strings a lot, and I think they're really good strings. And um, so I will see y'all in just a little bit. So, and that'll be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the guitar again. Sorry about my little sister in the video. That that is how um, when someone needs a guitar sent in for work, that's kind of the process that I go through. The main processes that I go through. So um, yeah, that's how that that's what. And repairing a guitar involves um, just some simple repairs. That's, you know, that's like, you know, a lot of times people will come in with, you know, they'll say their neck needs a big adjustment. You know, you'd have to look at the truss rod and all that in the neck. So, um, thankfully, we didn't have to do anything like that. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and get off here, and I will see y'all in the next video. Have fun with your guitars, guys your pianos and whatever instrument you have stay safe play your music have fun while doing it have a great day bye guys